A family now living in Half Moon Bay is seeking asylum after a long trip across the border. Tonight, Congresswoman Jackie Speer hosted a town hall to address immigration and gun control. KPX Vice Kenny Choi joins us from the newsroom with more. Hey, Kenny. Brian, uh, the congressman talked about one family's recent journey across the border and their struggle right now to gain citizenship. But she focused on what she says is the bigger problem at the border, inhumane conditions, after she recently visited a detention center and says that she saw it for herself. So, Congresswoman Speer and more than a dozen House Democrats toured this border facility in McAllen, Texas in July. That's where Dorian Matute Mateo and his four-year-old daughter Natalie also spent some time before finally ending up in Half Moon Bay. If you had dogs in those kinds of cells, they would be shut down by the American Humane Society. The family began their journey from Honduras earlier this year, fleeing violence, they say, but this morning found themselves in front of hundreds packed inside Kenyatta College Theater in Redwood City, wanting to hear more about their next step and what lawmakers like Speer believe is needed. We've got to move people out of those facilities swiftly and to their sponsors who will take care of them. Matute Mateo and his daughter say they spent six days at the McAllen Detention Center earlier this year as the debate about conditions at various facilities along the border rage on. We saw clean facilities. I spoke to families with children. I spoke to some children in these detention facilities, and they all told me that they were being treated well. The conditions in Texas at McAllen, which is the most traversed area, are subhuman. For now, though, it's a wait-and-see game for this father and young daughter. As for the young girl's mother right now, she is still in Honduras, as is her grandmother, uh, as they continue to go through this lengthy asylum process. Live in the newsroom, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5 News.